the meaning of established constitutional and legislative processes. Uh, from, the and from the beginning, I'm sure so what the conversation is. Yes. You have seen the leak, the step by step by step by yeah. step approach yeah. to passing of the legislation. Yes. So what what I mean for me, I think that's a very, very lame excuse to run away from the obligation of the president. Uh, yes, okay, section uh, article one oh eight. Ah, uh, yeah, the me uh, say the uh, the uh, the provision our man penny person or the me argument necessary say the bill may have a, a, a sense like financial implication on the consolidated fund. It's neither here nor there because I'm ready to right parliament the person despite the fact that it could be a private member not be still a Once the the, the law passes, it becomes an act of parliament. It's no more an individual, it, it's more. And the enforcement of every law will definitely involve some charge on some consolidated fund. Mm. So we share that as the one who is now. It has nothing to do with whether a president should sign the law or not sign the law only because the law may have some financial implication. No. It is only at, at parliament, and as I say, at the time uh, the one presiding over the uh, over parliament is considering a motion or a bill. No, the person, if it is in the opinion of the person, the the bill or the motion may have a charge. Nobody make me disallow bill. No? But when the bill has been admitted and it has gone through all the processes and have been passed after the third reading, the man cannot can decide to say constitutional instrument as a basis for which are on person or best signing, particularly when a man may know Casa and then if you go round, I'm telling you, who uh, call uh, way back at 2021, there are several women who are locked in these camps as mm. slaves. Mm. 